let's use these examples to review how we multiply uh, decimal amounts. So in this first one, I have 1 and 9 tenths times 7 tenths. Now, we don't do anything different than multiplying whole numbers as far as setting it up goes. Like we don't, we're going to multiply this the same way we would multiply 19 times 7. So kind of think of it like that. Now, the only difference is when I'm done, I have to do one thing. And that is count the number of decimal places that I have uh, in my factors. And we're going to look and we'll see I've got my decimal places one and four, one place forward from the tenths, uh, one place forward from this spot. So it really moved two places forward. So I'm going to count it as one and two. And then I'm going to do the same thing for my answer, one and two. So one and nine tenths times seven tenths would be one and thirty. 33 hundredths. So in this example, we would just multiply it like we would 6 times 5. Well, 6 times 5 is 30. Now, if we count the number of decimal places from the very last digit in each one, I can see I got 1, 2, so I'm going to go 1, 2, and then I've got 3. So I'm going to move ahead again, 3. Now, what am I going to fill in this empty spot? I'm going to fill in a 0. So, the product of 6 hundredths and 5 tenths is 3 hundredths. Now, in this last example, Now, I've got my product. I just multiplied it the same way I would have 375 times 15, uh, but I've got to remember to count my decimal places from my last digit, so it goes over 1, 2. So 1, 2. Now, 3 and 75 hundredths times 15 is the same as 56 and 25 hundredths.